Okay, I'm going to demonstrate the iFly EFB connected to an Avidyne IFD. For this demo, of course, I'm running the iFly EFB on an iPad. I'm going to run the IFD 440 on the uh, IFD training simulator. So it'll emulate what's going to happen in my airplane. So this will give you an idea of the procedures necessary to connect it while you're out in the airplane. So let's go see if we can make that happen. So the first thing I'm going to do on my iFly EFB is I need to tell it to connect to the Avidyne. So I'm going to go down here to the menu. Then I'm going to go up here to the setup page. And then down under ADSB right here, let's go click there and select options. And let's change selected device. And notice you'll see Avidyne in the list. So let's select Avidyne. And OK. And you'll see that automatically it's already connecting. So let's close that. Now the simulator is telling me I'm at Wire Field in Nashua. Now I want to do is transfer my flight plan. So I come down here to the flight plan menu. And now let's go over here to our root page. I should have had that up. Now you'll see Avidyne as an option. So click that. Upload to Avidyne. And there you go. And it says uh, root upload and ready. So you'll scroll down here. You can see Ash Bedford. And now I can activate that root. I can also clear this. It's telling you you need to activate the root, which we knew. So let's come over here to the IFD. We'll activate the root. And now we'll activate the flight plan. And boom, now we're off. Let's go to the map. So now we can come back over here to the iFly EFB and you can see we've, we're, the simulator is flying and now we're taking off and we're going to fly to the Pelham intersection and then down into, uh, into Bedford. So that was pretty straightforward. So let's do it again, only this time I'm going to load a flight plan in the IFD and push it up to the iFly EFB. So let's try that. Okay, so now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear out this flight plan. So I'm just going to go up here and hit clear. You'll notice over here on the IFD 440, I've loaded a new flight plan here. Let's go over to the root here. And I'll copy that so I have it. So now I'm back to the root list. So I'm now going to go from Nashua up to Laconia. I come over here to Avidyne. And I'm going to download from Avidyne. You want to uh, updates to automatic? Yeah, that's kind of nice. Now we've got the flight plan from Wire Field through Manchester into Laconia. Come over here and uh, activate the flight plan. Go back here to the map. And you can see now we're going north to Laconia. Let's say we need to go straight to Manchester Airport instead. So let's just go direct. KMHT, enter, activate. Notice our flight plan is now changed and updated. We're going direct to. If we zoom in here, you can see now we're going direct to. If I decide to clear the direct to, And now we're, I'm going to clear the gap. I'll just take it out, clear, and we'll activate that leg. Boom, there we go. Pretty straightforward. And we're pleased to have the iFly EFB community join Avidyne and our IFDs. Thanks and have a great day.